Hi guys, I'm Tati from Cool Mom's Cool Tips. Congratulations on a wonderful movie. It was a lot of fun to see so much so much action and adventure, but I felt a lot of pain for both of your characters. They were constantly being interrupted when special moments were coming on. (laughs) (laughs) Can you can you talk to us a bit about that? (laughs) Go E. (laughs) I mean, I mean, so the biggest thing is, you know, this is a family movie and and I think the coolest thing um, when you're when you're making a family movie is that you uh, you really get to kind of build the 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 tenseness between you know between two people. You the tension. I don't know why I said tenseness. You really get to build the tension between <laughs> between two people. And so getting to be in the movie and and as you watch the movie, um, because it's a because it's a family movie, you kind of are waiting for that you know that true love's kiss. And I think throughout the movie we get to push. And allude to it every single time, whether it's interrupted by somebody else or whether it's interrupted by a joke or it's interrupted, of, <laughs> you know, out of, you know, uh, cheekiness between E and Hana. Uh, it, it was just it was fun getting to watch that back. And, and I think at the end of the at the end of the movie, when you when you get to finally experience the true, I guess I can't spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> you get to really experience, you know, that that true love's kiss. I think it gives off a nice little payoff. Angela? Yeah, I mean, oh, go ahead. No, I, and you know, to me, I said it was just like this constant, um, I think, fun cliffhanger for, you know, there's a lot of pain and sadness that, you know, we might endure through the movie, but you have the fun little E and Hana that kind of keeps you on your toes and, you know, pushes the movie till that, like you said, that fun little moment at the end that you're like, finally. <laughs> Angela? Hi guys, um, I'm Angela with Queen Bee Latina. I absolutely love the movie. You guys were amazing. And I had a question actually for both of you. Did you, you guys have both really, really strong characters. Um, was there any obstacles in getting into your role? I mean, personally, no, honestly. <laughs> um, I mean, the joke always for Hana, like I say, is just like, Hannah is me. I mean, she's Lindsay to a T. I mean, everything about her. She's a Hawaii raised girl, Hawaiian, you know, who has all these dreams and desires, wants to go out to the world and has a lot of fear at the same time. And that was me growing up. You know, I was born and raised in Hawaii and it's a small island. We're very, you know, safe there. And going outside of that bubble is always a scary thing. So when I turned 18 and it was my chance to go out there, it was a very scary thing. So when I jumped into the role of Hana, I was like, oh, I'm reliving a lot of what I grew up with. And it it was so easy. I fell really quickly into the role and this almost transformation where she wants to get out there, you know, this this fight or flight kind of idea. um, It was really nice because Obviously, me being Lindsay, I did it, you know, I, I pushed through the fear and I moved out here alone, you know, when I was 18 and I, I, it was a struggle, it was hard, but, you know, I think that's what kind of pushed me through that idea of Hana at the end of the day is that I knew the true intentions inside was her heart of what she really desired and that's what was so fun playing. I was like, oh, I'm reliving my, my life again, but in a different context, it was really fun. Uh, yeah, I think for me, the, 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 the hardest part of being E was definitely getting there emotionally, uh, especially in the final scene in the shed uh, where we're all crying. Um, I'm, I'm getting to experience something that I hadn't experienced in a long time. <laughs> I'm going to not spoil it this time in this answer. <laughs> um, so, but at the, end of the, at the end of the movie, there's, there's something that, that I hadn't experienced in a long time and getting to... Uh, getting to that place emotionally was definitely the biggest challenge. And I credit Jude Wang, our director, um, for pushing us and guiding us, especially myself, um, to to getting and rising to the occasion, especially on that scene. Hey, Christy. Hi, Alex and Lindsay. My name is Christy. I'm with the Cactus Chronicles. Um, my son and I absolutely love the movie. And... You know, it's a very touching film. And as Alex mentioned, especially that final scene. But at the same time, there are also several comedic moments, especially (laughs) with regard to both of your characters, with the bantering back and forth with each other. 
were you able to ad lib any of those scenes or <laughs> of those lines? And if so, what were they? You won't believe this, Christy. <laughs> Almost all of it. I mean, the thing was, is is the, the script was written for E and Hana to always yeah. be butting heads, always be clashing, always be going back and forth. But again, and I credit this to Jude who gave us the freedom from the chemistry reads. Like oh, we were in the chemistry reads, hadn't even confirmed our roles yet. And, and I remember Jude doing this with me and, uh, and Kea for the brother and sister dynamic. And then also for Lindsay and I um, for that, that Ian Hana dynamic. And we just from the jump, I don't know if it's just naturally because I mean, we do also, <laughs> Lindsay and I also are bantering like that off camera as well. But all of those moments, whether they were on script or off script, were fueled by just the the pure, um, you know, fun, <laughs> exciting, friendly, but still, you know, bashing on each other and dissing each other and joking with each other consistently on and off camera. All natural. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole? Hi guys, my name is Nicole Mluchin. I'm with the Multicultural Maven. And I guess this question would be for both of you. Um, Alex, I know you have a background in music. And so when we are in the cave scene and you're trying to help Hana get to the other side and you guys are singing, I was curious, you know, is that all you guys? Was there, you know, who came up with that idea and did you guys enjoy doing it? Oh man. Again, I'm shouting out Jude. I, I love you to death, Jude, if you're watching yeah. this. But uh, Jude had the idea, and we even tried other ideas. Jude had the idea to not only have all of us sing in that scene, but to use the audio from that day that we <laughs> sang in the cave. So all of the audio from that singing scene is actually us on the day singing it while we're you know while we're traversing across this this cave in real cave. ledge <laughs> in the real cave like in a real cave in Thailand and so getting to not only be challenged because Jude did not want you know we even tried it afterwards where we all sang our parts and it just didn't Jude just didn't feel like it was there and so we decided to use the actual audio from the day and luckily um, the cast, uh, everybody was was on the same notes those days and everybody <laughs> was singing same time and tempo and uh, it happened to just fit. So I think in a world where there's a lot of, you know, um, uh, uh, I don't like using the term fake, but there's a lot of kind of overdubbing or glamorizing of talent. Uh, I, I'm so lucky to get to work with such a talented cast that we got to pull that off um, for real. That was, yeah, that was all real. I mean, for Hana, she's, you know, on a ledge and it's supposed to be high. She's afraid of heights. Again, we're the same person because Lindsay's afraid of heights. So, and this wasn't a fake ledge, you know, they, they put us up there. We were again, doing our real stunts and we were in a real cave in Thailand. There's bats, there's all these things. So fear and everything that came through with my voice all real. I mean, it was all so real and it was just so comfortable and like, uh Alex said with Jude she was just like she was screaming down for the bottom she's like just have fun and we're like okay and we just went for it I mean we it was a long day of shooting we were tired so everything about it was so real so it was kind of like, nice you know just to feel that in this cave with all this comfort of all these people because it was scary for me but you know we we really had a good time doing it Tessa Hey guys, thanks for being here today. We loved the movie. I'm Tessa with mamasgeeky.com and Mama's Geeky on YouTube. I gotta say, I follow you on YouTube, Alex. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. I wanna know, um, I guess this is for both of you as well, but what do you guys want families to take away from the film? Go ahead, Liz. You know, for me, I personally, I think with so many hardships going on in the world right now, you know, it's been a crazy year. There's been a lot going on. And I feel like I've noticed a lot of that has come home and affected families, you know, affected individuals, affected friendships. And I feel like our movie, it's so heavily based on this idea of family and friends and not just the pretty parts of it, you know, the hard parts of it, the, the ups, the downs, it's not always an easy relationship. So through our movie, you, we touch a lot on that and you see it and, you know, I feel like a lot of people are going to relate to these relationships, the parent relationships, the sibling relationships, all of these things that 
we internally struggle with. So I'm hoping that everyone watches that and we give that full arc through the movie that no matter what it is, you know, I mean, long time fallouts, you know, brothers and sisters that seem like they can never get along and to cut to the end where you can always find a way that at the end of the day, no matter what's going on, no matter what hardship's going on, family's the most important thing at the end of the day, you know, and I feel like if anyone out there can watch this and if they're struggling with anything and they can apply it to their life and find any sort of comfort and any sort of way to improve their living, that's going to be a total win for me to feel good about that. Just stole the whole answer, huh? Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I can't help. I can't help but reiterate what Lindsay said. I think this movie is, uh, and I love this term that, that I, that, that came to mind is, is heart filled. And, and the whole movie is heart filled of all different levels and variations of heart, whether it's laughter, whether it's sadness, whether it's love, whether it's, um, you know, and, and love both romantically and, and in a familial sense. Uh, it's just so full of heart and passion. And, and it's a movie that you watch with your friends, movie you watch with your kids. It's a movie that you can enjoy, you know, it before, during, and after your kids take a nap <laughs> or or any of that. I know uh, we're talking with Mama's Geeky. So uh, I think it's just a good, it, it feels good. And especially in a world uh, that we're in right now, it's, it's, a, it's a really good energy. Rachel. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm from prettyandbabyfood.com. This question is for Lindsay. You are my daughter's favorite character <laughs> in the show. And um, when you first show up on the scene, you get out of that truck and you're bringing the baked goods and Iwani just looks and is like, oh. my daughter's like, oh, they're in love. This is wonderful. And then when you did the hair flip that has oh, been seen and heard around the world, she was like, they're really in love. Yeah. Uh, she wanted me to ask you how many times did it take you to film that hair flip scene before you got the final shot oh my god the hair flip scene that was just such a funny moment because again Jude Wang she just like she's like I have this image like such a power move as a girl like just use that hair and just like show him who's boss so I was like and it was just too funny because my hair it's normally a lot longer but at the time it was kind of shorter than usual and I was like okay, I'm going to have to get really close to you, Alex. Like I'm coming in. So, I mean, I think it only took about three takes. And that last one, we nailed it. Like I just had to get it just the right amount. And it's timing because, you know, I have the plate and it's all like, just, she's angry. She's not happy. You know, immediately she already senses like, he's that guy who's going to come into my island and start disrespecting the culture. I already can tell, you know, he's already disrespecting my friends. And I'm like, I've seen this. I know this guy, like, you know, nice girl's gone already. So, I mean, that whole motion of just like shoving and turning, I mean, and then walking away. I mean, you should have seen how high my shoulders were. I was so proud of that moment. And then they're like, oh, we got it. I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> it, it was, it was a, it was a total power play there. Awesome. My daughter is now practicing. <laughs> She's practicing that hair flip. <laughs> I love it. Uh... Lastly, Robin. Hi guys, I'm Robin Davis from MomTheMagnificent.com and my question is for the both of you. Do you have a favorite or special memory from off camera while filming? Oh, off camera. I, I got one. I oh. love birthdays and like oh. birthdays are like huge for me. And so there were two birthdays that were, there were a lot of birthdays we celebrated on set but two of them specifically really rung to me. Um, the first one was Kea, who, who, who plays uh, my oh little my sister, God. Peely. Uh, and so for Kea's birthday, I love going all out. I, I remember surprising her in, in my trailer with a gift <laughs> and like getting that. So that was definitely one. Um, but even a, a, a bigger one was, uh, it was Jude, our director's birthday. And apparently I didn't know this, but Jude did not want to talk or mention or anybody say anything about her birthday until we had finished wrapping. We also happened to be filming until like 2 a.m. that oh day. So I was like just waiting, just, just <laughs> wanted to power through the day so that we could sing happy birthday because it's all I wanted to do, have some cake and sing happy birthday. And right when we call rap, uh, Ian had actually brought birthday cakes to the set and we all sung and we got to celebrate all together. Uh, and so that was definitely one of my favorite moments. 
Um, I think for me, now that I get to think about it, I think it was our last sleepover. So we as a cast, we, I mean, we lived together for two months traveling the world and we spent every second with each other. It was insane. And we knew it was coming to the end and it was getting really, really sad. And we all decided that we, we had these big hotel rooms. We're like, let's just do a sleepover. Like it's only right. So the last night we went to Kaya's, she had this big room and we just brought all the pillows and blankets out. And we had this big sleepover with the four of us as kind of a big, like goodbye. And you know, it was sad, but it was like the perfect cherry on top to finish that awesome journey with them.